Although this program is made in 1986, the information contained in it is still very important and valid. John Stockwell is back with us tonight on Alternative Views. We got letters and occasionally phone calls from most everywhere in the country where our program is shown, and they always talk about they want to see the John Stockwell program is repeated. So with our coverage and with your travels around and lecturing, you have the country pretty much blanketed, John. Uh, what we would like to talk about tonight is the things that have been happening regarding Nicaragua and the possibility of war down there. And of course, uh, John being in the uh, CIA for 13 years and having run the Angola operation for the CIA while he was in that organization, he's up to date on, it can give us a lot of good background information on Angola and this latest business of giving the Contras there more money. I guess we should talk about Nicaragua first. Uh, John, you visited there. You're very familiar with it. Your daughter has been down there a lot. What is your evaluation of this situation with the aid um, to the Contras being uh, forced upon uh, American people? Right? Well, I'm I'm deeply concerned in a, in a way that, that I have been about Nicaragua for the last five years. It's the CIA is a traditionally racist organization that's always liked white South Africa always worked with them very nicely. What really disturbs me about this is the way that we seem to be supporting Contras all over the world, whether it's Savimbi in Angola or the Contras in Nicaragua, who are really no more than terrorists. They kill, they destroy people, they destroy villages, economic targets, and then we call them freedom fighters. Yeah. And we call them the moral equivalent of the founding fathers. And it seems there's a consistent pattern that all over the world that these Contras that we support are really terrorists. It's, uh, it's the moral bankruptcy of our position that we've suffered from before because our policy is to support the oligarchies, uh, which is to support the rich people and the rich corporations. It means that we don't have anything ideological to believe in or to offer people. Uh, this is why they call the Contras mercenaries, is because we're not going in and teaching them some principle of life or, or moral or philosophical or ideological principle. Uh, we're capitalists and we're teaching them, you know, here's money, go and take Managua and then you can be in power. And the weakness in that is that the people who are motivated by, by, by greed, by money, don't want to die. They don't have, that's nothing to die for. You want to live so you can drive the Mercedes. And this was the problem that we had in Vietnam, and it's the problem that we've got, uh, we had in Angola, with Holden Roberto, for example. It's the problem that we've got now uh, in, in Nicaragua with the Contras. Those leaders don't want to die inside that country. And the men, uh, you know, they, they, uh, they go into villages and they kidnap people and they brutalize people and they mutilate people, but it's peasants. They're not attacking the Sandinista army and, you know, really blowing up things. They're kidnapping people and, of course, uh, they're trying to say that they're inducting people in, you know, en enlisting people, recruiting people to fight. Mm -hmm. But the statistics, which we've now gotten documented voluminously, uh, are showing they kidnap mostly young girls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Their recruits are mostly, you know, 14 and 15 year old girls they're hauling away and they brutalize them. And uh, the, these, this is what you get when you don't have an ideology and you're trying to go in and overthrow a country. You're, you, you come up with the wrong element. We do it time after time, put ourselves on, morally on the wrong side. And the reason is because we don't believe in anything. Our leaders don't, at least, except, you know, that what makes banks happy and what makes the oligarchies happy. And it's costing us. <laughs> 